All right, uh, let's look at the homework, uh, 7.8, uh, problem number 10. All right, so uh, we want to uh, evaluate this double integral. All right, so uh, uh, step one, uh, if we exchange, interchange the order of integration so that the y is the outer variable, so we're going to switch the order of integration, and the y will be a constant bounds from, from 0 to uh, 3. Let's see, let's look at the region. All right, so y is going from 0 to 3, right? So this is going to be 3, right? Uh, since uh, y equals x implies the bounds for uh, x are, so x is going from 0 to uh, x equals y. So here, this is going to be y. All right, and then uh, let's see, with uh, y as the outer variable, all right, so it's going from uh, 0 to y, so it's already here, and uh, 0 to 3, all right? Let's check the answer, submit. All right, uh, I came back, and it looks like we got the uh, uh, step one correctly. All right, let's look at step two. All right, so we're going to rewrite this uh, integral as, uh, okay, so they just uh, put the parentheses inside. Then we look at the inside. Uh, we'll hold the, uh, so we're going to hold the x uh, constant, integrate with respect to, actually, hold y constant, right, because phi, and with respect to um, uh, then with respect to x, uh, let's see if I can if I can choose it. Oop. All right, uh, with respect to x. All right, uh, submit. All right, uh, I came back and uh, we got uh, step two correctly. All right, so uh, uh, step three. All right. So we have, let's see, we take the antiderivative of with respect to x first, and you get that. And then uh, we plug in y. So it's going to be a y uh, e to the uh, negative uh, y squared. So we plug in y for x, so you get that. Plug in 0, you're going to get 0, all right? Then, uh, let's see, so we're going to have, um, oh, actually, sorry, there's a net e to the negative y squared is already out there, so I'm, uh, it's going to be just the y, sorry, All right? Then this is going to be y, All right? So let's check the answer. All right, uh, we got the step three correctly. Now step four, so let's see, it's all, most of the work is done. All right, so let's see here. Uh, we plug in 0. e to the 0 is 1. So you have 1 uh, minus e to the negative 9. So it's already there. So answer is just up, right? So it's going to be, um, uh, how do I write it? Uh, so 1 minus uh, e to the uh, negative 9. So let's see, negative 9. And then uh, we're going to all over 2. All right, so uh, let's submit. All right, uh, I came back and looks like we got this one correctly. All right, that's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.